up guys welcome back to the channel so i just recently got back from a tdy i did find some good stuff we got some loose casting some carded stuff but we're not going to showcase that in today's video we have yet again another mail call we actually have a few packages that came in during the week i was out of state we have some heavy hitters guys we have the secret bros the jakeinator my man sent some customs over we have sally mustang or sally 66 staying on instagram and the second package from cody collins so cannot wait to get through these boxes with you guys hopefully you enjoy and of course if you're new to the channel definitely appreciate you clicking on this video but let's get this started and get box number one all right thank you for all you do for the hobby you inspire me and tons of other viewers to collect hope you enjoy the customs god bless jacob thank you so much it's really awesome to hear you know that my channel does things for people other than just watch me hunt or unbox or do anything like that so the fact that you say i inspire you to collect and do all that just means the world so a huge huge thanks to you jacob that is awesome all right let's see what do we have uh oh channel decals had some extra maybe you can use oh look at that oh dude let's take a closer look at these check this out nice there we go guys the most recent logo you guys seen i did update mine to more of a ninja turtle style um logo for the channel just a fresh upgrade i always change it here and there we have the old black and red logo awesome then we got some stripes some gt badges we even got some snakes right here and some smaller mhd that is so cool i still have a few water slides from other people i have not been able to put on customs i haven't even been able to make time for customs but there we go awesome man and check this out individually packaged in some blisters nice that is smart i gotta i learned from you guys with packages and all that stuff man what do we have oh man look at that oh we see the number 22 already Ooh, dude this looks good oh man that is nice look at that deco guys got the s550 with yellow of course the pins oil and shell tampos you have the 22 logano dude this looks so good look at that 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 is that is super nice perfect choice of wheels you guys know every time i see these goodyear eagle f1s i always comment but i definitely love the choice of the red rims to tie in the number 22 and the shell deco oh man that is awesome dude let's see what other work my man has done oh yeah you can see it already you got the battle flag from dukes oh that is nice check out this 32 ford check it out he threw on the lace wheels i think that's a nice touch you have the battle flag up top with the general lee and the 01 signature general lee right there man that looks good my man hooked it up with a GT500 as well as the Boss 302 with the same livery and deco. And that is just so cool, man. These are awesome. There we go. Nice. Next one. Ooh, we have the Toyota Celica. Oh, and check that out. That is nice. That is a unique finish right there. Look at that. Hess decos on the door and hood. Dude, that is a crazy paint job. Almost looks like a swirled marble effect. Hey, that is awesome looking. It's almost like a seafoam green. <laughs> oh man, you are getting really good at these, man. You've always had some awesome customs, but I think these are just top notch work right there. This is just. That just looks really cool. Man, I love that swirl look. Dude, man. There you go, guys. The Jakeinator underscore one. 
follow my man. This is definitely going on the track. So we'll go ahead and set this off to the side. I don't want to lose that. Uh-oh, I see it right here. Please save for last channel cars. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> I cannot wait to see what you did with those. All right, so we're gonna save that for last. Go ahead and open up this one. Oh, I see some real riders on this. Oh, nice. Look at this, guys. The 55 gasser. You have the Monster Energy and the old one. Nice. Look at that. Dude, that is so sick. Perfect choice of wheels. I love how you threw those on the fender. Man, that is awesome. Check that out, guys. Look at that. Oh, the one thing I love is custom work, man. Because they're just so one-off and unique. No two are the same. My man is just knocking out of the park. So let's go ahead and see what my man threw for the channel cars. Oh man, I'm stoked for this. Because you've seen, we have this one right here that he did with the number 21. You got the horsepower speedway car. The truck right here with the, I think it was the, yeah, congrats on 4K subscribers. My Ford GT is sitting right there. So my man knows how to do some customs, man. Oh, nice. There we go, guys. Check it out. Oh, I love it. No scalping. <laughs> My man. There we go. The S550 Drift Mustang. Oh, I love that. You put the blue oval on the deck lid. You have the GT Mustang. Follow us on Instagram. Hi, <laughs> dude gets so creative man check it out love the subscribe channel car right there oh the no scalping that is so sweet dude nice more channel cars he has the upgrade he has the updated logo here we have the older version there god dude that is so sweet looking man next one Let's see if we can get this out man you wrap these up really good Ooh, check that out, guys. Nice. Ooh, nice. What is this? It is a 68 GT500. Just looks so different with those wheels on there, but check it out. You have the number 22, the big snake right there on the fenders. Oh, man, that is so sweet. And the way you guys do these is so awesome. Look at that. Loving the yellow stripes, and of course, you have the Mustang Hunter die cast right there on the hood. Oh, that is fresh, man. There we go. So, just to give you guys a closer look of this one, this one is probably the coolest. Um, I love the way he did the subscribe and the Hot Wheels flame on the fenders. This was just a really cool piece. Um, and especially the way he did the truck, too, with the roll bars. Yet the congrats on 4K. My man does some awesome, awesome work. You knock these out of the park, especially this one. This one is just, I just love the color and setup, man. This was a perfect, perfect Mustang and color choice and everything about it is just super sweet looking. The Celica as well, just the way you did the paint job and the Hess Tampos. Love that you left the J5s on there definitely a nice piece right here all of these just look so good you got the battle flag 32 ford the monster 55 gasser and the s550 with the no scalping dude nice that is an instant win right there and then of course finishing out with the 68 gt500 with the yellow stripes signature to the mustang hunter huge huge thanks man let's set that off to the side so we're gonna go ahead and move on to cody's package his has actually been here the longest and i know my man's waiting for me to open it up so let's go straight to this one then we'll go into secret bros and then finally finishing with mustang sally all right guys let's get these open oh man what do we have in this one Ooh, there we go. I see another Dodge. Oh, dude, look at this. Man, that is wicked. Look at that Dodge test team. 
Got the Dodge Intrepid, and I love that color. It's almost like a, yeah, it is like a primer car, so that is so sweet. Dude, look at that. Out of Winner's Circle, of course, they have some awesome castings for NASCAR. But man, that is, that is nice, man. That is nice. Of course, we do have the number nine Dodge sitting over there from the last package. Um, along with the other awesome NASCARs that my man threw in the package last go around. I'm definitely loving that, man. All right, let's see. What do we have in here? Uh-oh. John Deere. Ugh. Oh, man. No way. Did Chad Little really sign this? Dude, no freaking way. 124 scale Pontiac. Oh man, look at this beauty. Oh man, that is wicked. What car is this? Oh, it's the Pontiac Grand Prix. Dude. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh man. Look at how well this car is done. The air ducts from the windows are all plumbed through the driver. Dude, that is nice. Wow. What do we have right here? Certificate of authenticity. This is to certify this 124 scale die cast replica of the 96 John Deere Pontiac Grand Prix driven by Chad Little is one of 2504 pieces. Wow. Wow, dude, that is, wow. Dude, and is this legit? That is totally legit. Wow, dude, I don't know what to say, but I am speechless. You guys gotta comment down below your thoughts on that. Holy crap, that is awesome. Was not expecting anything of this scale. Literally, scale? or just the magnitude of what you were gonna send. Oh man. Dude, thank you so much. Now, let's put this back in there because this, oh man, we're gonna just put that off to the side. Wow, dude, and check this out. I remember this one in the pictures. 48 car carrying case. Let's put this there. Talk about old school. You got the Grand Prix right there. God, that number 44 is wicked. There you go. Old slots for some awesome, awesome cars. Oh man, and the fact that it's just so raw and used. Absolutely love that, man. And I think I actually have that car. Let's see, is it down here? Oh, is it over here? It's very close. Very close. It is the Grand Prix. Is it the same one? Yeah, it is. Look at that. It's just, mine's just faded. It's not as red anymore. And this was a 25 cent find at the thrift store. So, dude, oh, that is awesome. Dude, Cody, man, look at that. That is freaking amazing. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, man, that is awesome. Between Jacob and Cody, Wow. And we still have two more packages to go through, so let's go ahead and get through those as well. All right, this one is from Seagirt Bros. Oh, dude, cannot wait to see what you guys sent. I'm sure, it's gonna be awesome. So let's go ahead and get this open. I know they all just recently moved. I noticed your address was has Arizona in the name. So I think that is pretty cool, man. Looks like we have a letter. I just wanted you to know we think you are the best Hot Wheels channel out there. That right there, guys. That means the world. So thank you so much for the constant love and support. You guys know I'm here for you guys as well. We're all in this hobby together, but I definitely appreciate that. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go, guys. Seagirt Bros. Diecast and more. Established in 2021, you guys are doing a phenomenal job. I love the channel. Love that you guys are just doing things and being bold with it. So you already know, 
You're gonna be on the track as well as the board over there. So thank you so much for sending that. But here we go, it says, Dear MHD, we hope you like what we sent you. Thanks for the awesome package. Thanks for your service. Seagirt Bros, PS, we're gonna make you a custom. Nice. Read back of, oh yeah, read. Okay, I read that backwards. So there we go. It was supposed to go this way last. So thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to see what you guys do, but you did not have to send this. Oh man, here we go. First off, we have a first edition. Ooh, there we go. Check this out. 2004 first edition, the Bling's Cadillac Escalade in blue metallic. Dude, that is wicked. I do have a couple Escalades, but not blue metallic. I don't even think mine have the full tampos like that. Check it out. You have the bling, huge bling wheels. You have the Cadillac tampos, which is actually done nicely. And then, of course, the headlights are done. Check that out. It's collector number 14 out of 2004's release. Nice. Old big body. Let's go ahead and try to make some room. So much awesomeness on this table so far. Next one, Diora 2. Uh-oh. Which one is this? Ah, oh, the treasure hunt. There we go. I do have a couple of these, but man, it's always good to have some treasure hunts. Maybe one for the track, who knows? But it's out of the Hot Wheels Dream Garage. Nice blue metallic PR5s all the way around. I think this one's probably the coolest. Um, I have a couple Dioras. I have the flag, the one with the flag surfboards on there. But I still think this one's the coolest. I just love the subtle metallic blue and ghosted flames. So there we go, treasure hunt Diora. All right, next up is another first edition. Uh oh, couple first editions in here. Oh, <laughs> check it out, guys. The 2004 first edition hard nosed twin mill. Now it's funny because I had seen this exact one in Arizona at the thrift store, but it was torn from here on up. There was no card left. Um, but this one is collector number 20 out of 2004, but check that out. Extremely stretched and exaggerated. That is so awesome. And I love the satin black. But I think my favorite part about this casting alone is the way those motors are just super huge and exaggerated for the body. Small five spokes in chrome in the back and the massive five spokes up front, but it looks really cool though. Not gonna lie, that looks really good for the twin mill. Nice, man. All right, next up, it's out of the Street Beasts. Oh, oh, oh dude. This is 165 2 plus 2, or before that, it was just the fastback. I do not have this in the collection. Look at this. This is legit. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Just so you know, I'm legit. I do not have that one in my collection. I have a lot of 65 2 plus 2s and fastbacks, and I do not have this one. Dude, you guys killed it with this one, man. Look at that. Love in the black and red. Of course, you have the reverse red and black up top. I think that's a cool deco, but check it out. Boom! <laughs> Comes with the license plate. How freaking cool is that? March 2011. Dude, that is freaking awesome. This is my favorite casting out of any Mustang released from Hot Wheels. The 65 2 plus 2 or 65 Fastback. Dude, freaking awesome. That is awesome right there. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Another Dollar General exclusive Ford Bronco. You guys rock. This makes number three in the collection now, so um, yeah, there we go. Baja Blazers recolor in yellow for the DG exclusive. Nice, all right. Before you open it, guess what it is. Oh man, I love these type of things. Let's see. Um, trying to feel, there's a lower grill. Does it have a wing on it? Trying to think, what could this be? Oh man, I don't know. I can't even feel any like specific points of the casting that would give me an idea. Wait a minute, 
is it the Kia? Is it the Kia? <laughs> it's the Kia Stinger. That's gonna be so awesome. If not, it doesn't matter. The fact that it's a mystery thing and I'm trying to figure it out. So if I guess it right, let's see. Diecast skills on point. <laughs> there we go, it's the Stinger. Nice. Oh, dude, nice. There we go. <laughs> oh, that is funny. I was thinking maybe Tesla, but then I kind of saw the taillights just a little bit, and I know you guys always reference the black Kia Stinger because I know I have one, I just can't find it. And I have all the colors, and this one was always brought up, the black Kia Stinger. So there we go, nice black metallic flake. You have the gray Y5s all the way around. Dude, that is, oh, that is funny. That is too funny. Well, there we go. Now we know where it's at. All right, next one up. Oh, 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 oh man. Look at this beauty. Oh, my God. You guys with the heat, man. Look at this 65 coupe, and that color is just beautiful. It's a Spectra Flame green. But on camera, it just really captures a different look to it. But that is gorgeous, man. Got the Goodyear white wall tire, seven spoke variation. I don't think I have this color. Nope, I got the 65 in gold. Oh man, dude, is this another one I don't have? Let's see, and my other ones got the fastbacks. Yeah, just fastbacks. Dude, look at that. Oh man, another gorgeous one to add to the collection. Man, that is in beautiful and perfect shape, you guys. Dude, nice. Back to back 65 beauties. You guys could have literally just stopped with those and I'd be perfectly good, man. But I definitely appreciate what you guys put together. And like I said, when I sent you that package, I was not expecting anything in return, but I definitely appreciate you. So next one up is a 2019 Benz. Ooh, there we go. The 2022's first wave of Zamac. I don't know if I have this one. Do I have this one? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, cool. Makes number two in the collection. Of course, it's the first wave. So it's zero one out of the Hot Wheels hatchback. Such a beautiful casting. So at least now that I have two, I can open one because I do have all my Benz A-classes open. All right, next up, oh yeah. Got the 2015 Jaguar F-Type out of the convertible series. I think this was an exclusive for Walmart. Not 100% sure on that, but I'm almost 100% sure. But you guys comment down below if it is or not, but there we go. This makes number three in the collection. I think I have one opened up already. There we go. Next up, the Draftnator. Yes, this is the treasure hunt for 2022. I have overlooked this multiple times when these cases first dropped over here. I've seen like four or five of them and I just really just looked at it. and was like, oh, that's cool. Tossed it aside, not realizing it was the treasure hunt. So you have the treasure hunt flame right there on the back. It is an awesome looking truck kind of looks like a hybrid of a modified Chevy could be wrong but there you go you have a little silver flame on card nice do not have that one all right check these out guys oh <laughs> you guys mentioned you were gonna throw the full orange card series in there check it out the 70 Dodge Hemi Challenger beautiful color release for this series, it's probably my favorite one. It did really like the black series, but this one right here is just a beautiful burnt orange metallic for these. You have the Porsche 911 in blue chrome, and it's a chrome base, so that is a variation. Um, they do have a blue chrome base, but this one is super chrome. And then followed up the 69 Ford Torino Talladega. Nice, to finish it out. We have the 2018 Camaro SS, the Project Speeder, which I do have, and this, what is that? Ooh, the Gazella R, is that the chase car? Oh no, it's not, it's just all six. 
look at that. That is all chrome. That thing looks really sweet, actually. Kind of looks like it should be a, I don't know, like an Aston Martin or some type of, I don't know. But that thing looks really good for a fantasy casting. God, guys, you did not have to do that. And here we go. We got some shorties. Ooh, and a short card Shelby. Oh, man. There we go. Beautiful maroon metallic with the chrome tin spokes. Look at that beauty. I think I have this one loose. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But uh, I'm pretty sure I have it loose or maybe carded on a standard long card, but nothing on an international shorty like this. Oh, dude, that is nice. It's a 2007 release. Or no, maybe it's 2010. 2010. That's just number seven, but it's 2010 release look at that beauty before they change to the non opening hood and then we got the Subaru WRX STI in white on a shorty there we go we do have a custom that was sent in right there so here we go we have one non customized on a shorty which I don't have a short card of this so awesome one but dude these are all shorties check it out you got the R35 Liberty Walk in red and the Ford GT40 on short card. Nice. Oh my God, are all these shorties? They are. <laughs> no wonder you're able to get so much in there. Check it out, the 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. I used to have it and I ended up, or maybe I do have it in the box underneath this table. Um, but there we go. And of course the Morris Mini. I do have this one on long card. So that is so cool to see on a shorty. So I might just open my long card and keep the shorty carded. So there we go, man, that's an awesome one. And check this out, we have the McLaren Speedtail in silver, as well as the Ford Lightning in red, probably the best release. Um, the Sandstone Metallic came out with was okay, but nothing screams Ford Lightning like the red. Man. Awesome right here guys. All right, let's see what else do we have looks like we got the IROC the 2017 Ford GT in black metallic and the Aston Martin V12 Speedster check that out Man, these are just so cool love the red metallic with the gold accents and deco but That Ford GT with the white PR 5s just really pop at you Man, it looks like we have two Supras Got the 2020 GR in yellow. I think there's base variations of this. So made in Malaysia in small. Looks like they're both made in Malaysia small. So nice, dude. Thank you so much for sending two of these. Two shorty GRs. Oh, and we sent he sent two of the V12 Speedster. So hopefully we can get that one on the track. And then followed up by the Indy 500 oval. I do want to do some races with some Indy cars and some um, open wheel cars like those right there, just to see how well these do on the track. It might not be under any known racers. It might just be a car versus car type of thing. There we go. And last one, ah, the Formula Gen 2 car, nice. So this makes number three. We can actually have like a full open league with the Gen E2 cars. There we go. You guys are absolutely awesome for sending these. You did not have to, but man, I appreciate that. Especially having the shorties, full orange series, and of course just overall guys. Look at that. Got the bling, treasure hunt, hard nose, the 65 2 plus 2, the 65 Spectra Flame out of the classics. Oh man. And the go and the black Kia Stinger. <laughs> you guys, man. You guys. Right, let's go ahead and open this one up. It did see some battle damage in transit, so hopefully everything is okay. But uh yeah, let's go ahead and open this one up. Hopefully everything in here made it safe. Let's see what we have in here. It looks like we have a letter. Jason, I recently came across your awesome YouTube channel and Instagram page. 
I want to thank you for inspiring me to open and display my garage stored Mustang collection. That is so cool. And his display is really sweet, guys. It's like a staggered saw style shelf. Super cool. I'll post it up there so you guys can check it out. I am looking forward to adding more to my wall collection and any duplicates you wish to send my way. I hope you enjoy the loose and carded ones for your collection or trading to others. Thank you for your service and God bless. Happy Mustang hunting, Iggy. Dude, thank you so much. And yes, I remember you said 2018 and up is what you're looking for. You didn't care if it was loose or carded. So I'm definitely gonna hook you up on that end, my man. So thank you so much for sending this and check this out. Oh, dude, the 60 Shelby. Check that out. Oh man, I love that dot matrix look. It kind of fades from blue to white. But look at that beauty. Thank you so much for that. 1962 to 2022. Man, this is a recent release hat too. Man, thank you so much. 60 years of Carol Shelby. Oh, all right, here we go. It looks like some cards got a little, little tweaked, but that is okay. Oh, and check this out. This is the new series. There we go, the 2017 Camaro ZL1 out of, I think it's the Spring Series. There we go, man, that is a lime green. And you do have the 2022 Spring Circuit, there you go. And of course you have the little aggressive little rabbit deco. Black MC5s with the yellow ring, definitely a loud Camaro, but it will fit in perfectly with all my other Camaros that I do have starting somewhere here. Yeah, I think they start here. So definitely a great addition to that. I don't have any cars from this series. So if there's any more in here, they are definitely fresh to the collection. And there we go, the C7Z06 convertible. Check out that purple. Man, that is actually a nice color setup. I love the white and yellow on purple. It's a really different look, but it looks good at the same time. Got black PR5s with the blue chrome trim. It would have been cool to see some yellow trim, but you could always wheel swap that. Nice. The card art is very unique too. All right, next up. Ooh, check this out. What is this? The Sky Dome. Super fantasy, definitely multicolor. You have the huge RA six wheels in yellow in the back smaller up front this is definitely a car that we could see on the track but there we go fantasy casting out of this one next up is oh check that out the d muscle it looks highly based off of a camaro there we go you have the massive oh5s on the back and small up front it's a nice blue and i definitely do dig the the color glass the white interior really makes that fuchsia or magenta really stand out. But there we go, another fantasy casting, but it doesn't look too bad. It's actually really cool looking. Nice. All right, next one. Oh, there we go, the Ford Maverick. Now I do have a few of these in the collection, not this color, because like I said, I don't have any of these cars in my collection, but there we go, nice yellow enamel. You have the 22 just like all the others. Blue chrome, five spokes. And I do like the pink bumper. It's a nice little color swing. Nice little color touches on these spring series. So there you go, another Maverick to add to the collection. Here we go, the loose castings. Number one. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's a beauty. Got the 70 Mach 1, and it looks like it's a pearl white. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Pearl white, you got the real riders. Look at that, tail lights are done. I love the colored Hot Wheels flame. And you got the WG on there. I don't know what that stands for, so I'll leave that up to you guys to comment down below. But look at that, man, that is a beauty. Oh, that is nice. Never seen that one before. All right, next one. Ooh, we got the long hood version. Looks like a 71, 72. Oh man, 
check that out. I don't think I have this one. This is a 71 Mach 1. Look at that gold metallic though. Got the orange, yellow, and black side hockey stripes. The Mach 1, of course. Love that, man. All right, next one. Oh yeah, I remember this. Look at this beauty. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that is a sweet Camaro. Oh, check that out. Looks like the maybe the wheel came off and it just you popped it back in. But man, this Camaro is nice. Pete, if you're watching this, oh, this is definitely up your lane. I love the blue enamel with the white meatball. Check it out. You got an opening hood. Oh, that is screaming for some detail. That is definitely washed out with blue, but this is a beautiful casting. All right, next up, I remember this bad boy. Here we go, check it out. Oh, that is wicked. Look at that, Spectra Flame blue with the red lines. This one is the Mighty Maverick. Here we go. Look at that dual carburetor, massive cow hood. Oh, and check that out. It's got some like heat extractors coming out the back window. Dude, that is wicked, man. Iggy, thank you so much for the 60 year Shelby hat. That is so freaking awesome. The loose castings and the carded ones, I'm glad they came out good. And wow, those right there are just awesome. Seagirt Bros with the heat. We got shorties, treasure hunts mixed in there as well. And then of course, we got and then of course, then of course the 65 Fastback I did not have in the collection and the 65 Coupe, which looks amazing. And then Cody, my dude, you got the Chad Little signed, limited John Deere NASCAR, freaking insane. You got the Dodge Test Team Intrepid, the 48 car carrying case. Then you got the Jaconator with these wicked customs, man. You just better and better every time i see your work so again huge huge thanks to all of you guys you are the best and i just cannot thank you enough um the only way i could repay you is a package in return so just bear with me guys i will get those all sorted out i'm still need to send out like two or three more packages that is all we have for today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite thing we unboxed today and of course God, that's all I have to say is you guys rock and, and I can't thank you enough. So until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.